Yeah, that's right. Gonna, gonna make love to us in space, baby. Gonna offer you something beyond your wildest hopes and dreams. <laughs> Howdy, my name is Good Guy, Michael Domain, and welcome back to more Subnautica! So, today, well today, I am in the middle of a marathon batch recording of Subnautica, and I'm absolutely freaking loving it. And we're coming across so many great things, so we got tons of water, like disinfected water in here. Um, but, uh, unfortunately we're like completely full, our inventory is completely full. Well, wildly full. So, if we, if we end up needing more supplies, like we can come back to in the future, but, um, uh, at the moment being... Are these, I thought these doors were supposed to open. Oh no, I see what's going on. It's this right here. Okay. So anyways though guys, thank you for spending some time today. I greatly appreciate it. Hope you guys appreciate it as much as I do. If you do, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you're new to the chest, the game, chest. Uh, if you're new to the channel. Um, so yeah, all that sort of good stuff. But anyways, we're, we're currently running through the Aurora. We got the prawn suit. We got the, um, we got the, uh, we got the, the sea moth fragments, all sorts of good stuff. Basically, we're just kind of going through here for old time sink at the moment. Um, Okay, courtship contract relationship. Um, this is, hold on, which one do we have already? We have the prawn on land. We want the prawn on in the water. I'm gonna drop the, the. There we go. Uh, we were we're basically we're we're basically playing fashion souls right now. Okay. Um, we're 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 gathering we're hoarding a bunch of stuff that actually doesn't have a whole lot of use to us, but like we'll look cool in our base, you know. So, like in that sense, it's sort of worth it. Okay. Um, we do not have space for that. Um, got ourselves another, let's see, got ourselves another battery, so we'll drink this, take the battery. Um, anything else in here that we want? Uh, it doesn't look like it. We got narrow beds. We want a, we want a wide bed. Wow. Okay. Um, what is this? Magazine? Can't pick up the magazine, apparently. Okay. Can't pick up the health container, but we don't need it. Um, okay. So I think we're good. Let's go ahead, head back to the, um, the... The classic part, let's see, did we head over this direction yet? Um, uh, this is prawn on land, right? We already have this one, don't we? Prawn on land? Yeah, we already have the prawn on land poster, so we're not, not too worried about that. Um, single shelf. We do want the double shelf, like the double storage display shelf. Um, but. Alright. Okay. This is, okay, we gotta look through the, the data logs to try and find this sort of stuff. Sweet offer. Um, living quarters, one, eight, six, nine. Okay. Let's see. One, eight, six, nine. Cool. All right, we're about to get a sweet offer, guys. Oh, look at this. Yeah, that's right. Gonna, gonna make love to us in space, baby. Gonna offer you something beyond your wildest hopes and dreams. That's right. Look at this. Okay. Uh, what is this? Is that a baseball cap? Of course we want a baseball cap. What kind of question is that? Check that out. Can I wear it? Can I wear that? <laughs> Wait, what? Hold on. Oh, okay. It's just like a display item. Okay. You can't can't wear it though? Oh, that's sort of upsetting. Well, that's okay. Um, What do I have in that spot? Put our knife in that spot. Okay. A um, lot of water... Oh my goodness, a stuffed dragon! Okay, um, drink that, take the stuffed dragon. Oh my goodness, the arcade, uh, arcade gorg toy. Okay, so we definitely need to be careful that we don't die. Because we die and we lose the, uh, the dragon, I am gonna be, I'm gonna be heartbroken. Um, he's gonna go on our cool little wall shelf, um, and we're gonna have, like, the coolest, coolest base in the world. Okay, um, okay, so this is the, uh, Responsible autonomous relationships basically where they're saying like, you know, I need you to love me I need you to care take from me or give you I can take your leather and take from me my lace, you know So <laughs> if you guys got that kudos um, <laughs> so I I've been on a Fleetwood Mac kick lately. Okay. Oh Okay, it was a little bit closer than I would like um, 1869 again Nope, okay, um so let's go ahead and Degasi Survivor Order um, Planets 13 months manifesto senior employee separate package. Okay, we need we need a log somewhere. Acid mushroom. We don't need the acid mushroom anymore, okay? Uh, fauna, we don't need alien life sorts. Uh, data downloads, alien data. 
codes, essential life things, uh, lots of cargo, cargo bay, uh, 2211 maybe? Is it a birthday code? Nope. Uh, what's her name? Eight, Kim's birthday, 1806. Oh, there's no zero. Ah, huh, cool. Okay, um, sweet offer. 13 months, order of mission. Manifesto, Bart, two days. Degasi, um, take a swim. Degasi voice log. I don't see any numbers here, guys. Um, life pods. Is there anything saying about his crew number? Like a, a storage room number? I don't remember this room being here, do you guys? Surveillance forward. Heard the Altera model is more reliable. 3,000 credits. Uh, till I was 16. Uh, over 12,000 Celsius. What is... Hold on. Altera, launch site, public, geo, technical... Degasi survivors. I don't seem to find it, guys. Public documents. Responsible autonomous relationships. This is one where it's like people are welcome to search other places. Technical. Habitat. Power. Cyclops over the prawn. Huh. Okay, well... I don't remember a code for this anywhere. Um, I guess we'll come back here if we find an additional PDA. Let's double check in through all these rooms. It wasn't like written on one of the cabinets, was it? Doesn't look like it. There's that face of that girl. Her face is everywhere. She must be like the leader of the Altair or something like that. Um, okay. No signal. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, well, I don't... I don't think... Um... Yeah, I don't think we... It's... I don't think we missed a PDF or anything like that, guys. So, unless it's like scribble on a wall somewhere. What is this? Oh, this is the natural selection poster. Of course we want the natural selection poster. Um, what are we going to drop? Fire extinguisher? The one that's at 18%? Sure. Okay. Natural Selection 2 poster. It's still just as dark as it was when it first came out. There's no PDF like hidden behind here, did there? Okay. Nope. Um, alright. Well, let's, uh, continue onwards then. It's not like written somewhere stupid, is it? So there's a bottle of, like, absinthe. What are these? Sh check out. Welcome. Check out specials. Um, cheese bread, sliced bread, huh? Nope. I don't think I don't think we walked past it, guys. Maybe it's in the I don't know somewhere else. I mean, it's got it's got to be it's clearly somewhere that we haven't looked. Yeah. Uh, I hope I hope I didn't just like go past it like a stupid idiot. Although that's not too far out of the the it's the possibilities for things that Giga Mike has done. Um, let's see. Am I missing any? Okay. Nope, doesn't look like it. Huh. Okay. Well, let's uh let's keep moving along then. Go ahead and repair the ship real quick. Um wow. Alright. Drive shield sustained breach, so let's go ahead. Oh! <laughs> it's, it's like blows you back when you're in the water. I forgot about that. Come on, get out of the way. I don't see how that water's on fire. Um, game physics. Okay. Let's go ahead. Let's see. We got another. So this is the Cyclops pressure compensator. So we got to drop a battery. Um, let's go change out the battery for one that. It's in. Okay. So let's find the poor battery. There we go. Cool. Power efficiency module. And then repair tool. Let's go ahead and patch all the holes in the Aurora. And then we'll go back to our base and like drop off all of our cool stuff. Okay. This is this is the exhilarating part where good guy Mike swims around and patches things. Okay. How many we got? Does it tell us how many breaches we have? I forget. Just keeps to, or does it just keep saying over and over again. Eight. Okay. Thank you. Uh thank you. Um Thank you. Appreciate it. Yep. It's incredibly helpful. Incredibly exhilarating. Oh boy. Um, oh, I'm just throw up in my mouth a little bit. Okay. As long as uh, one of those those uh, blood suckers doesn't get us, we should be fine. Which is interesting that they're able to survive inside here, like despite the fact that uh, like I can't because there's uh, like radiation, you know. So 
sort of sort of interesting. I don't know. Maybe not 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 complaining or anything. Maybe I'm complaining a little bit. I think it's why is ah get off of me. Get out of here. Beat it. Okay. There we go. Um let's see. Um there's another breach. Oh, there's another breach. Look at that. And then there's one more after these two, right? I think. Okay. Look at there's one. Okay. Cool. And one more. One Omas. There we go. Nice. Usually takes me a lot longer to find that last one. I, it's, I guess I'm. I don't know. I guess I've played too much Subnautica. <laughs> too much Subnautica. Pfft, listen to me. That's crazy talk. Okay. Um, High energy particle containment field restored. Auto decontamination sequence initiated. Thank you. Radiation levels are estimated to return to safe levels in T minus three days, ten hours. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, what do we decide to name her? Um, Carla, Janine, um, Karen. That's what it is. Thank you, Karen. I appreciate the info. Okay, so they did patch this hole in the bottom. Can I cut through it or? Nope, looks like not. Okay, uh, so we just got to go back the way we came in, huh? All right, fair enough. Fair, fair enough. All right. Um, cool. All right, so I think we found everything that we needed to find. I mean, there's clearly there's clearly that extra. Um, there's clearly one more like spot that we can. One more room that we should go check out, but I, it's, I mean, I, I didn't find a, a code for it, so. Unless you guys know that off the top of your heads or something like that. Uh, let's see. If you guys write in the in the comment section, I suppose I would go and do that. Um, otherwise, I will continue, um, continue on my search for, you know, doing things the legit way. Because I'm, I'm legit, you know. I'm, I'm legit. Too legit to quit. And check the wiki. So, you know, gotta go, yo. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Let's, uh, let's get back to base. Um, unload our crazy amount of stuff that we have. Um, and, uh, yeah. I mean, build our, like, mobile vehicle bay. Because we should have almost everything we need to build the mobile vehicle bay, right? Ooh, check that out. Is that a case in there? Okay. Um, if you guys spot a PDF, remember... Bang your face against the keyboard with such ferocity that I have no choice but to stop and pick it up. Okay. Um, spiders. Spider biters. Bad spider biters. Okay. If I jump from this point, will I make it into the water? Yep. Answer is yes. Woo! All right. Diving in the water. Okay. Um, okay. Whoops. And let's go back to base. To base away. All right, guys. Wow. Well, that was uh, that was pretty productive. I mean, we found like a ton of stuff. We got a unbelievable amount of batteries. We discovered the the prawn suit as well as the sea glide or pardon me, the sea moth, um, and the uh, the mobile vehicle base. So we can build both, um, as well as the cyclops when we eventually find all the pieces. But we need to. Um, what is that? So is it just a piece of coral sticking out? Or oh no, it's a life pod. Cool. Um, is there a code in here? Left pod four. Landed upside down and got the side blown out of it. Um, we got a health pack. Uh, making sure I'm not looking past the radiation suit again. Okay, nope. Interesting. Is there anything down here just underneath it? Like a skeleton or something like that? Um, nope. Looks like that's a, looks like that's a no. Let's just double check this. It's a propulsion fragment, which we don't need because we already have all the fragments for the propulsion gun. There's the mushroom forest, which will be where we'll go with the sea glide, or pardon me, sea moth, so that we can find the pieces to the um, the aurora, which are down there, as well as the moon pool fragments. The last time I checked, we're down there. So, um, look at it. Oh my goodness. Oh, let's go grab some. Let's go get some air. Uh oh. Hold on, Lagosaurus. There we go. Okay. I found out that sometimes in the Lagosaurus attacks, like if you just let off the, thr the throttle key, it uh, like it'll come back in. So, what's up? What's up, big guy? I want to, I want to combine, so there's a, there's an infuser, right? That you can like genetically infuse people with. So I'm kind of curious about, uh, infusing, um, a, like, uh, what do you call it? A, uh, one of those guys 
with like Reaper Leviathan data. <laughs> See what happens. That'd be crazy, wouldn't it? Um, but uh, yeah. So what am I? What is I? What was I thinking? I was gonna. I was bringing that somewhere. Or right. Or infusing um a uh, a like a peeper or something like that with one of those making making giant peeper and then just or oh my goodness infusing one of Mike's favorite fish with uh with those that'd be super awesome. Okay, um, here we go. Oh, look out, Mr. Bitey there. I should give him a piece of metal. That way he stops biting me so much. Um, I'm sure he would appreciate that. Okay. Um. Okay. Here we go. We got 100% energy. Bioreactor slowly bioreacting things. Um. Let's see. Ore. Do we have any ore in here? Um. We have crash powder, which would be biological. Uh, batteries. Um. Prawn stuff. Baseball cap. Coffee vending machine. Let's go ahead and place the coffee vending machine. Wait, what? <laughs> Did he actually? <laughs> you look like you need some coffee. Cool. Um, does it? Can I actually scan this, like, to get any information off of it? Nope. Can we hit it with an empty hand to like get some coffee? Maybe. No. Looks like not. Okay. Um. So this downstairs area will be like where we put all our different reactions and things like that. But let's um. Let's go ahead and build our, um, so what does it take to build our mobile vehicle bay? Mobile vehicle bay, um, takes, uh, lubricants, titanium ingots. So we should have enough to, we got to empty our inventory a little bit. So we're going to put for now, just for now, there we go. We just need a lubricant to build the mobile vehicle bay. Lubricant one, two, three. Cool. All right, go up into here, craft our mobile vehicle bay, and throw that out. Then we'll create our sea moth. Throw that out. Oh my goodness, guys! Okay, we got another message. Okay, um, life pod six, high priority non altair passenger on board. Coordinates attached. Oh, landed one kilometer. Path running is irradiated. We've only got one rad suit. Okay, cool. Awesome, awesome. Let's go ahead and create a lubricant. There we go. Oh my goodness. And deployable mobile vehicle bay. Nice. Look at this, guys. Oh my goodness. And then, then we gotta decide whether or not we want to build the prawn suit or we want to build the uh, the sea moth. I think we build the sea moth. Um, sea moth is much quicker. I've heard the prawn suit is less great if you um, if you don't have the uh, what do you call it the the cyclops for it yet. Okay. Activate vehicles. Some prawn suits, aluminum oxide, so we don't even have the stuff to make it yet. Uh, titanium ingot, power cell, two glass, and a lubricant. Um, so we actually have all the stuff for that. Two glass, which is just four quarts, which we have. Um, one, two, three, four, a power cell. Um, yeah, there we go. And then we'll actually build another power cell to... Or, pardon me, we don't need to add more batteries. One, two, three... Here we go. We'll keep two on us. Grab a from the organic. Grab one of these. Cool. All right. So then we need stuff to make the lubricant. One, one two, three. Inventory full. Whoops. Um, right, because I have all this stuff. Okay, hold on. Let's make the glass and we'll come back out. Yeah, that'll give us two extra spaces. All right. Man, we were just getting freaking... Messages at the wazoo. Nine new biological subjects designated mode hunting, analyze, slash analyzing, share subject location with other agents. Whoa, that's the alien language again. Um, not super great. So that sounds like, I mean, you don't exactly have to be an expert to know that uh, when they're talking about um, hunting, slash analyzing, hunting is not super great. And they're probably talking about us. Uh, fun fact. So they probably want to, you know, uh, do all the usual stuff take us, um, defile our bodies, dance on our graves, tell our mamas about it, you know, those sort of things. Um, so not super excited about that. You know, that's definitely not, not a top 10. Um, okay. And let's see. Lubricant. Congratulations, survivor. You have exceeded your weekly ex, uh, exercise quotation by 500%. 
Data indicates your swimming was your favorite activity. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. <laughs> well, that's good. Um, oh, we got a new we got a new message for us. Okay, what is this one? Okay, uh, life pod three coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but fabricators busted. Requiring immediate assistance. Three out. So let's go ahead and take these out of our our head for the moment being. We'll just store all of our broadcast data in here for the moment being. Um. Okay, we should have everything we need to make a Seamoth, which we can then put the, uh, the, what do you call it, in. Okay. Oh, Titanium, make it right. I need to go grab that out of the base. Okay. Alrighty. Um, uh, Titanium, make it. Let's go ahead and put this ore, this ore, grab this one out. Um, pressure compensator. You know what? Let's go ahead and post up. Let's post up the stuff in my my top area. This is I'm just gonna assume that this is gonna be like the bar room. So, um, so we'll go one. Okay, prawn on prawn on land, prawn underwater. Okay, can we put three on one wall? No, it does not look like it. Okay, prawn underwater. Oh, we're actually out of time for today's episode. Let's hold on. Let's try and fit the key cat. Looks like keep calm. We can't keep calm on there. Let's see. Oh, nope. So we'll have to put it, like, right here. Okay. <laughs> I freaking love it. Um, and then we'll put the, the natural selection poster. Okay. It's interesting the natural selection is still so dark, you know? Um, okay, and then the Gorga. So we'll put that on, like, a shelf when we eventually... Like, we need a little bit more titanium so we can build a shelf. But we're actually at episode... We're actually out of time for today's episode. So I will go, and for the last moment... Meant. For the last little bit of the episode, I will... Whoops. Not what I meant to do. Okay. There we go. Climb up on it. Um, click it. Build vehicle. Seamoth. Uh-oh. Lagosaurus. So here we go. So anyways, guys. Thank you for watching today. I hope you appreciate it as much as I do. Uh, if you do, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, I appreciate you guys. It's been absolutely amazing. You guys. Keep being good guys. Blah, blah, blah. You guys. Keep being good, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.